it's me, Alex, aka Neo Dragon. Here have another review for you. Yes, we're back to Pop Culture Shock. Um, another Street Fighter review for you. Um, this is, as you can probably tell, this is Ryu. This is the Tatakai Koka exclusive. Try saying that three times. Which will henceforth be known as the Battle Damage version to save me looking like a prat. Now, um, so this is the second exclusive that they did for um, this Ryu. Um, the, you've got the regular one, which is in his normal gi, um, no battle damage, and the head that's on here now, just the regular head. Then they did the Antatsuken version, um, which was again the regular costume, no battle damage, and came with three heads. And then they did this version, the battle damage version, with um, all three heads and the battle damaged trousers and gi and all that stuff, um, which we'll go over in a second. Um, this one was apparently supposed to have been 250 it says 250 on the base, this is an addition size. On the certificates of authenticity, we have 300 um, This is happening a, a bit now at Pop Culture Shock. I don't really know what they're up to, but they need to get there to get a bit. Um, I think Skeletor that's just come out has got the same problem, and um, the Batman wall statue, the blue um, exclusive, same issue as well apparently. Um, I don't know what's going on, apparently Jerry is looking into it, but um, very strange, very strange issue. Um, so yeah, this is 1-4 um, scale of course, mixed media. Um, just a little bit of um, background on the lines at the minute that Pop Shock are doing, if you don't know. Um, their Street Fighter lines basically consist of three lines at the minute. So you've got the original mixed media line. Um, they're just under 1-4 scale actually, they're not actually true for 1-4 one, one scale, weirdly. Um, they on a black circular base, a completely plain circular base with no detail on it whatsoever. So that's the original line which is still going now, you know, latest um, statues have been um, Nash from Street Fighter 5. So, um, did they complete this 12? The 12 World Warriors are done now, with Blanca being the last. Um, but obviously they haven't done the new challenges, no t Hawk, no DJ, no Fei Long, yeah. Um, and then they've also um, got the Ultra Line. Now the Ultra Line, even though it is called the Ultra Line, isn't actually just Street Fighter 4, Ultra Street Fighter 4. It's basically their um, name for the line, which is um, True 1-4 scale, apparently. Um, we'll see when the first statue comes out. Um, action poses on a diorama base. So the first in that line was Vega, a redo of Vega, um, which looks amazing. I have, an, I have it on order. I'm really excited for that. Um, and they did Kami in a Street Fighter V costume, which also looks great. Um, and then we also have this line, which is the revisit line. So it reuse the first one of the revisit line. I think the second is going to be Ken. But even though it's a revisit, it's Ken in his Street Fighter V costume. Yeah, it's confusing. Um, so the only difference with the re with the um, revisit line is that I don't think you'll be able to see, but we've got like this pan around the edge of the black base. Um, you know, it's a minor thing. Um, I don't, also don't think the other base have like this lip in them. I think they're a bit, you know, they're just um, smoothed off. So they, you know, they have mixed the um, base up a little bit just to you know, make it, um, give a bit of um, difference between the lines. Um, obviously, you'll have no problem combining all three lines into an amazing display, um, which is pretty much what I intend to do. Um, I don't know if I'll be keeping this one. I've got the regular already, which I'll go over in a minute, why I'm going to go for the regular, I think. Um, but yeah, let's get into the statue. So, as I say, this is the battle damage version, and as you can see, we've got some amazing paint. I mean, as I, I keep saying this on every pop culture shop video, as much in grief that people give Jerry and um, Pop Culture Shock about delays, their prices are still the best, um, and their quality and their paints are just getting better and better. I really should have put this guy on the laser season. Because the base, for some reason, is stupidly heavy. Like, ridiculously heavy. I just want to get him around so he can get a shot in the back. Um, again, musculature. Amazing. 
Um, Hopeful Shock are fantastic at doing big buff guys and you know pretty ladies, pretty well buff ladies as well. You know, Cammy's very buff in parts. Um, but this battle damage version, you've got all this. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up, um, but you know, you've got all this bruising that's been painted in um, on the actual head. You've got bruising on the face. Really, really, really nicely done. And um, this is um, cloth. So I think they do untie if you ever wanted to change them or change colour or whatever you wanted to do. Let me just try and twist him back. Um, so the second head, which is, um, to be honest, when this was shown, apparently Capcom really like this head. They didn't really want Jerry to go that far from that head, so he made this head. Which Capcom approved and liked, and didn't really want anything else, amazingly. i got to say, this head, I thought, no one will ever display this head, it looks terrible. It displays really nicely. <laughs> it looks fantastic in hand, I've got to say. Um, I think that the battle damage, and I think, you know, it, it's Ryu pissed off, you know, and it works really well. So, you know, it's like Ryu's just had the shit kicked out of him, and, you know, he's getting a bit riled up, you know, but the, the, the old um, dark do coming out of him. And then, because people were so moany and kind of pissed off about that second head, Jerry promised a third head. Everyone thought it was going to be like an Udon head, you know, a more comic book, a more Street Fighter 2 cartoon look of a head, and they were right. So this is the third head you get. A lot simpler. The hair's not as detailed, obviously. Um, I was, like, not convinced by this at all. But, again, in hand... <laughs> It looks fantastic. A lot of the pictures I saw of it, it didn't really match up with the body. The body looked really textured and, you know, the head just didn't. But um, in hand, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I don't think you can go wrong with any head. Um, you know, that is a perfect review. <laughs> it's perfect. I, I don't say it often, but I really do think. Um, again... I know I'm always praising Pop, but, you know, it's, I don't really think people get how good these statues are until they get them in hand. I'll go back to the original head. Um, really good scene work on this as well, even though it's, you know, the head swaps, it, how it's done, the hair goes over the seam and the chin, um, the line of the chin covers it really, really well. Um, not a lot of companies do it really well with, you know, human flesh to human flesh, you always have that line. You know, if you look at like Sideshow's Shows Hulk's terrible line, terrible seams on Pop Cold Shock always do a great job. Um, the stat statue actually comes in a few pieces, so you've got the heads, both hands come off. Um, I've actually seen pictures of guys put them on the wrong hands, I don't know how. Um, and then you've got the statue itself and the base. Like I say, the base for some reason is frighteningly heavy. I don't know why it's so heavy. Um, we use on two pegs, there's no way he's going to fall over. Um, Gokin's base wasn't super heavy. This one is ridiculously heavy. You know, it must be it must be three or four kilo on its own, um, which is just weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm actually going to get the regular version of this now. Um, I think I can't even remember what price he was from Pop Culture Shop. He's around four hundred dollars, I imagine. Um, and then shipping uh, customs on top. Um, but Pop Culture Shock are really good with customs, if you get what I'm saying. Um, yeah, they do help international customers out, if, if, um, out. So if any internationals are wondering about ordering from them, I'd definitely say go ahead and just get the exclusive direct from them. Um, so yeah, I ordered the regular as well. Um, basically, the pictures came out. I was really impressed. I love the battle damage, but I kind of want a normal Ryu. Um, and to be honest, I think this head, the head that's on now, which is the regular head, is the best one. Um, like I say, they've got, even though this is a Street Fighter 4 um, sculpt, 
they've definitely gone for a bit of a Street Fighter V vibe. Um, the actual costumes, quite it was like one of the first DLC costumes on Street Fighter Four. Um, Daigo, if you know Daigo, who plays Street, for, if you if you know Street Fighter, you probably know Daigo. Um, he used the costume a lot, so you know it's a bit of a fan favorite. Um, but like I said, I just wanted a regular Ryu. So um, as soon as the pictures came out, and I saw, you know, there's just this one picture of someone that took of this arm of all the veins running through it and that. I was thinking, yeah, I'm not missing out on this. So I jumped onto Collectibles Direct as usual. Um, Lee had him on for 255 or 240 um, if he paid up front. So I just put the 240 straight down and got him. 240 for a quarter scale statue, brand new. You know, it's a fantastic price. It's a fantastic piece. Um, I really can't wait. Um, there is a little issue with the regular and the Ansatsukin, which is the gi, how they've weathered the gi. Now, on this version, the battle damage version, um, they've done a fantastic job on the weathering because not only have we got this, you know, this yellow, this yellowing stained effect on the um, on the cloth. Excuse me. Um, we've got um, a lot of dirt. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's it's kind of like a Street Fighter Five statue at the same time as it's being a Street Fighter Four statue because you know, in Street Fighter Five, if you haven't played it yet, Ryu is slow. He's bulky. You know, he's big damage, um, and he, you know, his gear's covered in this dirt and the sweat. And so, uh, this really, really um, doubles up as a Street Fighter 4 and a Street Fighter 5 statue. Um, like I say, he, he, it, they've gone for a realistic look as well. Um, obviously, the fakes are exactly the same as Street Fighter 5, but you know, it real it works well enough. Um, the Street Fighter 5 Ken they have coming is going to be on the same base. Um, it's going to be facing the opposite direction of Ryu. So basically, you have your Ryu. Set up like so. And you can have your Ken right here. You know, giving a bit, a bit of that. Come on! You know, and it's going to. That's my display. <laughs> that's what I'm going for. But like I say, I'm going for the regular Ryu. And the price was just too good to turn down. Um. The battle damage, I don't know. I'm definitely going to keep it for a while. Um, it's out on display. As it is fantastic. And I kind of might miss the Udon head. <laughs> Which I really didn't think I would. But, you know, like I say, for 240 quid, the regular is going to be enough for me. Now, just getting back to the regular. Um, the problem people had with was with the gear again. Um, they went for like a yellow staining on the gear. A lot of people aren't really happy with it. Um, there's different. Uh, obviously, cameras pick up stuff differently. You know, some have seen a really, really um, yellow, right? Really yellow, like ridiculously yellow, um, and some look quite clean. Um, I don't know what their mind's going to come out like. You know, I'm hoping you know it's not going to be too bad because you know I do. I don't mind the other stain and the other stain is fine. What? Basically, the excuse, um, the excuse for the yellow stain is he's Ryu, he lives in the mountains, he gets sweaty, he can't wash his clothes. But, you know, I, I kind of get that, but I, I, could, I always imagine Ryu more dirty than sweaty. <laughs> I don't know why. Why I'm imagining more dirty, I don't know. Um, but, you know, I think he's the kind of guy who'd wash it in a river, so why would it be stained? And I don't know. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be interesting when it arrives, um, but it will be a keeper because, like I say, this sculpt is so good. Um, I'm kind of thinking, you know, I've seen people who have undone the belt and then took his jacket back and then put the belt around his trousers while having the jacket open. It looks really, really cool. Like that. Um, obviously, when he does come, I will review him. Um, you know, obviously, it's not gonna be as long as this review. Um, but, um, yeah, kind of looking forward to it. Like I say, if you can pick up a regular, go for it. If you like one of the other heads, especially, I'm, I'm not going to say this isn't the head that anyone will be using. I think a few people will use this, especially on the battle damage version. 
um, as a paint and it really makes so, uh, so good and it really makes sense to use that head on the battle damage version but you know the Udon head you know if you want a more old school Ryu I definitely think the Antatsuken is worth it for the Udon head um, if you want him in this costume specifically go for the battle damage version I the, honestly go for both <laughs> if you can afford it go for the Antatsuken and the battle damage if you're that much of a Ryu fan you know who doesn't like Ryu you know, it's not like Liu Kang is it you know everyone hates Liu Kang but everyone likes Ryu you know Ryu's cool um, so yeah I don't think I, I have so much stuff in my head I was going to talk about um, about this Ryu statue but I think I've covered everything but yeah just stunning um, I've not seen a paint job like this for a while um, like um, on the Gromosh video saying how good the paints were but you know that was all my moon mainly you know you did have a bit of paint on the actual body but you know this is another level this is um, skin tones done right and you know veins and all that that they put into it just fantastic absolutely fantastic um, yeah I can't recommend it enough guys so um, yeah there we go that's Ryu on full scale mixed media this is the revisit this is the battle, dam dam battle damage version I'm not going to attempt the ogre one then Tatakai Koki yes um, version um, fantastic Kuzarte um, Pop will shock and congrats to Jerry. Um, now, where is my 1 3 Scorpion sub zero? That's what I want to know. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching.